punk, 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 It's on the lockout, baby. What up? Today, we got a lot of things going on. <laughs> so it's been a minute, and a lot of people I see is commenting from time to time, all in the videos, right? But in order to understand content or video, whether it's of Rikers Island, prison, or story, current events, anything that's going on, you must watch the whole video in order to know what's going on. There's a lot of times, a lot of great content that's being made, not only by myself, by other people that are storytelling, podcasting. And no one really gets to know the fact that this person is not glorifying that, in fact, he may have a good message, but you wouldn't know that because we watch the first few seconds and say, boom, and jump to a quick judgment, right? That's not facts, again, because you didn't watch the whole video. With that being said, we talking about a lot today. We talking about Rikers Island, the Trinitarios, right? Because we a lot of people always ask me, whoa, what happened to the Trinitarios, Patrias, what have you? Were they living... Are they living? Are they making noise? And I don't know if it's all about making noise. I think it's about what are you doing for the people today, right? On another note, we're going to get into that. And again, you got to watch the whole video in order to understand what we're talking about, Papi. <laughs> so with that being said, right? Some people are like, look. Somebody told me, how do you feel about certain individuals saying, who cares about them stories, right? You know what? There's people that care. They want to know history. They want to know what's going on. You feel me? And this is no shot to nobody. Somebody asked me, and I said in a live, how do you feel that Maino, the rapper, said, yo, who cares about them stories, about what you're doing today? I've always said that. I've always said what I'm doing today. What are we doing today for the peoples as a whole, right? But I don't worry about how he feels about that because, to be honest, he came, he was telling his prison story. He came out of prison just in raps. So it's nothing. I know that sometimes people say things and he probably didn't mean it to that extent or in dumb terms and people take it out of content. You know, but uh, I doubt that he was like fully punching holes in the storytelling of the back in the day stories, because sometimes I do think that it's not needed to an extent where you're slaying another uh, individuals or whatever. Right. Because it could stir a lot of old feelings up. So that's why I refrain from doing that, like co-heartedly like going at people i don't do that we love all people on this channel right and i'm just explaining all that because it's been a minute since we've been here but let's get right into it you already know what this is on the lockout baby <laughs> so rikers island right uh trinitarios Patrias, Dominicans, facts. How did they, you know, were they carrying themselves in a correct manner? Listen, I guess a lot of people that have been asking, like, well, why you guys never talk about them? I'm going to tell you why I try to refrain from talking about certain people. Because to be real, certain people could hear something and take it offensive, whatever you're saying. And that's not even your intent. That's not even what you're saying, but you always got people that want to gas somebody else up or whatever, right? And, and, and there's some that think that, you know, you can say whatever you want online, but you really can't. If you claiming gang, 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 you can't just go around blabbering all up at the mouth because there's somebody watching that's not taking what you're saying lightly. And that's just a fact. And it's never out of fear. It's just out of respect for every man individually uh, uh, for their beliefs, right? Because these are people's beliefs. But the Patias, when they were coming up, I seen it, right? You had a lot of Dominicans that were involved in other cliques. And of course, you can't be mad. In the beginning, I was. Like, I don't know if it was a hater or mad 
or what. But I had a feeling in me, and I was like, damn, that's wrong, because you still had people going up to certain of them and saying, look, why are you involved in that? Like, whether they was in another uh, uh, religion, gang, organization, whatever you want to call it, with all respects, right? And I'm like, damn. But then the it's up to the individual himself. A lot of my friends that were Dominicans that were involved in something else, they were like, bro, look, I'm this and that's that. And I'm not turning party. As time went on, a lot of people changed their mind and became patria. And shout out to the patrias, you know, never uh, uh, doing on no one. It's, I'm just telling the facts that patrias were holding it down, are holding it down on the island and up north. The times I was there, they wasn't like they was just there, like crash dummies. Nah, that's not happening, bro. Trust me. It's very rare that a Dominican gets locked up and is letting people just uh, uh, fully abuse them. That's not going to happen. Dudes is going to come to the door. I'm keeping it a hundred. Everybody else is going to lie to you, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not Dominican. Do I have family members that are Dominican? Sure, because my brother is married to a Dominican girl. Uh, there's Dominican kids all over my family. Facts. So we love all people here the same way there's black children all over my family. Facts. You know, you got a sister that she likes the super matruski, but it has to be, you know, feel me? Dog. <laughs> Facts. The Puerto Rican sister <laughs> that must have a Tyrone <laughs> all over. You feel me? And it's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. We are the people's facts. I'm not too one that's too fond of separation. And you got to understand that. And some will be shocked because of my background. But my real background is I was born and raised around a variety, you know, different ethnic groups, uh, different beliefs, all that. And that's why I know a lot of people. But the Dominicans, right? Dominicans. Let's get back to Dominicans in all respects and all shout out. This is not a, this is in fact, this is like shouting out my Dominican people, paying homage to my Dominican people, right? Because a lot of people ask me, yo, Ward, you guys never talk about the Patrias and Dominicans and what they was doing. They standing up for their peoples on the island. Trust me, bro. It's very, and, and of course, you know, some, some may uh, 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 disagree, and have different uh, opinions, you know, and that's what we're here for. You know, there's, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm entitled to my fact. What I see, <laughs> there's facts. I will never lie to you. Trust me, Joey. <laughs> so, with that being said, Dominicans started coming up, but they was involved in other, but there wasn't a lot of Dominicans in Rikers in the beginning, in the early 90s. It was a lot of like, Puerto Ricans and blacks were like the super uh, uh, most people that I seen on the whole island that I was saying, damn, nobody else gets locked up in the world? Only us? I was bugging, bro. Like, yo, where's other people at? And I'm not wishing jail on nobody, but when Dominicans started coming through, boy, did it get crazy. Because now, like every other group, right, you got one dude that's from DR, and now 10 of them come in. And now not only is it a, a Porter Rock phone and a brother phone, but now, you know, where's the DR phone? It starts all becoming a problem, right? Because people may be like, these are non-important things. Uh, the government owns the jack on the island. Nobody owns the house. But if there's no order, it gets out of control. People start feeling oppressed, right? <laughs> we already went through those stories, right? People start feeling like as the uh, uh, the people that are not letting themselves be bullied, suckered, or robbed and stand up for themselves. Now you look at as you're oppressing because <laughs> you're standing up for yourself. So Dominicans started standing up for themselves. And at that point, when people start standing up for themselves, other people don't like you. 
you know, people like you better when they could control you. Uh, uh, people need you better. People like you better when you need them. And when you don't need them no more is a problem. So with that being said, everybody, Dominicans also became public enemy number one while I was there. But did they hold their self down? Of course. Is there a lot of Dominicans on the island and up north holding it down? Like together, unity, uh, harmony, peace? Sure. Sure. Don't let anybody tell you like there's not. There is. And whoever says otherwise is lying to you. I will never lie to you. They very well holding themselves down on the island and up north when I was there. Unless things change, <laughs> you know, in a short period of time, then I don't know. And that rarely happens. But sure, they stand. They they not like being soup. They not being punked or not like that. They standing up for themselves. But the most important thing is not even about standing up for yourself. It, it, it's standing up for everybody. And that's the points that sometimes I try to make. That it's not good always to bang, bang, bang. And I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about everybody at this point. It's not always good to just bang, bang, bang. It's like, what are you banging for? Like, what, what are you fighting for? You know, anytime that uh, peoples is against people, whether it's brown or black, it's always an ugly thing, right? Where there's anything, it could be white. We love all people on this channel. So I don't look at uh, uh, the white man or anyone as evil or nothing like that. I look at all of us as equal human beings, right? Uh, trying to strive to make it in life in general. And uh, with that being said, man, right after this commercial break, we're going to get right into it. But we got to pay the bills around here. Commercial, y'all, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so shout out to them, man. And um, respects to them. A lot of times, people compare them uh, with the situation and, and, and rest in peace, you know, to the individuals that passed away. We all know the situation with the young and junior, right? May he rest in peace. And, and and I don't even like to bring those things up. We're never disrespectful. Uh, my condolences go out to his family. But uh, uh, we attach a whole group of people to uh, uh, incidents that happen, right? Or isolated incidents, right? And uh, uh, you can't blame, I always say that on here, a whole group of people for what one or just a handful of individuals did, right? A lot of times... Uh, we look to the to the uh, leaders of these things in the prison or in the outside community as to, uh, you know, put blame. Like, they all that way. Like, they all accepted that. Like, they all knew that that was going to happen. And even the FEDS things that way. Like, you all was down with it. You all, they, if they could indict all of you, they would, right? But uh, uh, it's not the way it is, man. It's not that way, man. So, I never blame, like, uh, uh, all Trinitarios, all Patrias, you know, and I say with all respects, uh, had the blame for that situation or for any situations because they don't, you know? There's people in the world that, that, that don't know what's happening. Like, they, you know, uh, you can't control everybody that's involved inside if they were even involved, right? And that's like, again, I want to, uh, uh, you know, reinforce... Uh, uh, reiterate, right? Reiterate if I'm using the correct word, leave it in the comments, because you already know, Bob, we from Brooklyn over here. <laughs> so with that being said, man, yeah, never do that, man. That's not a good thing. Uh, I mean, you do what you want. I mean, for me, I don't go around blaming a whole group of people for what a few other individuals did, right? If I have a problem with somebody and they involved, they happen to be involved in a clique or, or in a gang, what people call it nowadays, right? <laughs> uh, not nowadays, it's just that I just feel that certain things were never meant to be a gang, so the media gives it a gang name and, and puts them out to be like super no good, and everybody just runs with that with the, with, when the intent was never that. But a few bad apples and everything would label the thing a gang. But with that being said, man, shout out to them. You know, uh, May everybody uh, be happy in whatever you're involved in. And I hope that one day we could all unite and leave in, uh, live in peace and harmony, right? Especially in Rikers Island and the state penitentiaries. Because it's an ugly look 
when um the main cause for all of us is is to uh be against oppression whether it's from the administration or anything and uh at the end of the day we wind up just being against self whether it's brown black right white what have you it's a real ugly look because at the end of the day we all in the same Boat, we all um incarcerated, we all suffering, we all went through a lot of pain, and, and yet we still to, uh inflict pain on our own people, and um never singling no one, no specific group out, just as a whole, we need to do a little better for all people, not just our people. So there's a lot of things going on, right? And um. I said this on a live, but like always, most of my lives I delete, right? So this guy, of course, there's always people that are super wealthy already, that have money, that hit the lotto, that are fine diamonds like this guy. So a guy is walking somewhere, right, um, in Arkansas, right, in the in the in the park by a park, and he finds a nine point seven carat diamond, but the dude is already like. Uh, his profession, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was a doctor or something. Yeah, it's stated here. But look it up. Uh, he discovered it and he found it and he was just going to like brush it off and throw it somewhere. He thought it was like a little piece of rock when he went and he had it tested. It's a crazy diamond that's worth a lot of money, bro. And it just goes to show you, next time you see a little rock somewhere, don't just kick it away and think it's a... It's nothing, man. Maybe you want to take a good look at it. But, I mean, what are the odds of that happening? I mean, in the hood, right? If you're from the hood, like... But you'd be surprised. You never know, guys. You know? Luck might be right around the corner for you. <laughs> so, Rikers Island, right? We all know that it was supposed to be closing. And everybody was, like, really looking forward to Rikers Island being closed down, right? Uh... A judge the other day blocked the construction for this happening, right? Because the residents of the area are definitely not having it. So it, it is a major blow, they say, to de Blasio's uh, plan to replace the Rikers Island jail complex with a smaller detention center in other boroughs. So sorry to shatter people's dreams, the closing of Rikers Island will be delayed, you know? And I don't know if I was too... I can't say, of course, we want our peoples to always be in better condition and because I'm all for prisoners' rights, for prison reform, for uh, uh, finding a better transition. Like, if I'm... You know, like, what happens after that? Because a lot of times we're released and you're released like into nothing. And, and you don't can't expect someone to give you everything in the world. But I figure if you spend some time locked down in a prison. And I know that a lot of people may be like, oh, well, they put themselves there. Uh, of course. But to let someone back out to society that already had no markable skills. I mean, we're setting our whole world up for failure with that, right? Because these are people that come back into our society and they become your neighbors, you know? And, and, and I think that uh, giving someone at least the right tools or somewhere to go or guide them in the right direction is very important. With that being said, right? Check, we're going to get right back into that. But uh, this thing here, right? This right here is Blue Roman. I don't get a dollar from Blue Roman. I don't get no money from this. No one paid me to do this. It's not a sponsored commercial. It's none of that, right? It's me shouting out my guy that is from my neighborhood, from Sunset Park. The packaging on these socks is crazy. You have to look them up at Blue Roman Apparel or Chino uh, 6F. Chino526, rest in peace to the bro Meg, right? We already know. So Chino was very great friends with Meg, and he started this sock line. The socks are in here. I don't want to take them out because I'm doing a whole proper, like, video I wanted to do with him for him when I'm taking the socks off. But you can look it up. They come in all colors. They official. The technology that these socks are made with 
is crazy. All athletes are wearing it. I seen like dudes from the Astros, dudes from the Mets, dudes from the Yankees. I seen a bunch of athletes wearing these. Get your blue Romans. It's official. I'm proud of Chino. That's an awesome thing. It's great when anyone could start their own business. Look, and he took his time. Time is important. This took about three years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, about three years to put everything into play, right? Blue Roman. Look how beautiful that looks. Let me just... uh. Clean that up there because... You know, so Blue Roman, gangster. Check it out. Blue Roman, the socks are beautiful. I like the, the colors, the way they stand out. It's great. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like it. So Rikers Island, uh, shout out to you, Chino. Love, you already know. So, uh, yeah, we got to say that because people start thinking, oh, here we go. It's just, I, listen, it's content. A lot of people put sponsored things in, and ads in their videos. I'm just being honest that that's not a sponsored uh, a sponsorship. I don't work with Blue, um, Blue Roman. And we have to say this because it's in the guidelines for those that don't know. Uh, I don't get a dollar every time you buy a Blue Roman sock. It doesn't generate me a penny or income. I do that from the kindness of my heart. And it's not throwing no shade at them. Never that because I wouldn't be even sending people that way. But is it a great sock? Was it a great product? Did he put his time into it? Did he put a... Uh, his mind into it and really do something that was awesome, of course. And any time that the peoples, and I mean all peoples, brown, black, what have you, could start your own business to generate your own income besides working for the next man, it's a beautiful thing. And it's a win-win situation for our peoples as a whole. With that being said, Rikers Island, right? These efforts, wow, have encounter legal changes in the Bronx, Queens, and Manhattan where residents oppose the creation of new jails. On Monday, a Manhattan Supreme Court judge sided with a group of residents that there who oppose the new jails, ordering the city... Oh, he snap. ...to case any efforts... In the creation of the planned Chinatown facility. What? Mm -hmm. I don't know how Chinatown got in there, but these... Oh, they plan to make a facility in Chinatown. What? That's, I mean, that's what that's saying to me. To, in other to dead efforts. Yeah, that's crazy. They was about to put a, a jail in Chinatown. Yo, what jail you in? Down in Chinatown, son. <laughs> Yo, Chinatown is popping. But Chinatown is a beautiful place. And shout out to all my peoples down there. You know what I'm saying? We just always have a little humor. Never <laughs> doodling as a people as a whole, right? But man, the city council approved. Resolutions along with all other involved agencies. Approvals must be a halt. Mr. Kenley wrote in his decision in the case brought against the city by a community group called Neighbors United Below Canal and Others. <laughs> Neighbors United Below Canal and Others. I guess Canal Street. That's what, cause, cause Canal, you know what I mean? Canal Street. Like, we not that dumb over here. <laughs> no, I get, it's, it, it, it is what it is. Chinatown's resident, Zhang Li, who is named as a plaintiff in the Manhattan suit, is a co-founder of Neighbors United Below Canal. Yeah, facts. The decision represents a victory for all his Manhattan neighborhoods and others. We never believed this administration could create these four new jails. Oh, snap. Simultaneously with the closure of Rikers Island, 
Mr. Lee said, it's just an unbelievable fantasy at the end of the day. Day, day, day. Boot. Ooh, Rikers Island is not closing. They've been lying to us all this time. It's time to stand up, people. Let's fight and unite. <laughs> What's up? What's popping? De Blasio, que paso? Que paso? Vote, people. That's the problem. That's the real major problem. Like People may say your war's bugged out, but if you listen to me, it's always facts. This is the pro- This is what happens when we say, I'm not going to vote. Because that don't pertain to me. That's not going to change my life. Nah, bro. It could help. And if you can't vote because you feel that your criminal history is too crazy, right? But you got a voice and you got a little platform that you could encourage and move a whole lot of people in your direction. And I was always one to tell people, yo, go out and vote. Check out my videos. Check out my Instagram on the lockout underscore. Not the one with the lion. I don't have a lion. In fact, I have me there just chilling with my hair. You already know with my Rico Suave, uh, 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 Farruko reggaeton look. You heard facts. I'm Puerto Rock. What else I supposed to do? Huh? <laughs> Let's check this out though, right? Um, Check that out, B. That's what you got to do. Vote, man. Vote, and you're going to be all right. But one thing you never want to forget when you're making content, right? As crazy as it may look, boop, you don't want to always forget those because you're going to be recording, and you're going to have to do the video like a thousand times. But before we go real quick, and we're going to make con- more content. This was just to get in the mood of posting again, right? Because it's been a while, but I promise you that I will never leave you without content. It, what happens is my computer had messed up and we was having difficulties. Thanks to uh, a lot of work and put together efforts from our family. Uh, shout out Jay the Irish. Shout out uh, Killer Sapo. Shout out Warpath. Shout out Spotify, iHeartRadio and everybody, right? Uh, people in Cali. Uh, Long Beach, you already know, got love for everyone. Uh, 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 Australia, right? France, uh, Jamaica, Italy, these are the people that, 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 uh, uh, it's like a silent team or something. Like, it, it's crazy. I can't explain, but one thing I do, do is I love my lockout gang. I love my lockout family. And you guys know that for a fact, man. I don't know what I would do without you. Uh, uh, as far as like being there for me, the same way a lot of people say, "Boy, you motivated me to make videos. You guys motivate me too when I'm down and out and I'm not posting, right? Because we all go through things in life. I got PSTWE. I got the whole alphabet, you know? And with no disrespect to no one, uh, it's just a fact. But something's missing right now, and it's this. Aquí yo quiero un trago. La radiola. That was an old song that was out back in the days. Of course, it's Spanglish, right? Spanish. And uh, it's about, uh, it's hard to explain, bro. You got to know what I'm talking about. So anyway, shout out to everybody, right? We're going to make a lot more content. I just wanted to get in the uh, groove of posting again. Uh, check us out on the lockout. We on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. We everywhere, man. I love you. Stay tuned. Don't think this is the last of it. We posting again tomorrow. Hey, we might post again today. I just wanted to see how the coloration is working out, uh, how the computer is working out, if I need to change anything else. If, am I looking any different from before? Or is there anything I could do to make things better? For you guys, like, so when you guys look, you know, it, it looks better. I don't want to be, most important thing out of your videos is lightning. Don't let nobody tell you any different. And for the life of me, the audio, nobody wants to hear <laughs> for half an hour, an hour of your podcast show, bro. And as much as you try to talk over it, it's still there to an ear that a person that has a good ear for podcasting. Always hears the clicks, the f- and they tune right off. But if you ever thought about making content like this, just do it, right? And don't let these dudes tell you and lie to you. Oh, I'll help you start your whole channel. That's a lie. Just DM me. That's a lie. 
the fact is that everyone at no one's gonna stay with you on the phone an hour, two hours, and again tomorrow to guide you through step to step. All of them are gonna try to hit you with a fee as a fact. Don't let them lie to you. That's just the way to get you in. Or they want you to tell their story, your story on their channel. I'm never gonna lie to you. This is a fact. Call me. Or you could uh don't let these dudes use you, but come to them first. You know, tell your story here, then I'm gonna help you. Of course, anybody would, because you already generated an income off of his story, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. He told his story. He gets to be known. Now people follow him. That's the beauty about this. But don't come trying to sound like you missed the perfectly, like, yo, holla at me. I got you, bro. That's a lie, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. People hit me. There's times that I myself... Everybody makes a dollar that way because there's people, you ever heard people say in order to open up a podcast, some people need a few thousand dollars? That's a lie. But don't let them tell you that they're going to do it for free because you're never going to get through them. That's a lie. Facts. Nothing is free in this world. Just know that. And I'm pretty sure that you know that, that you know right now that war's not lying because look, I would never lie to you. There's no need. I always say this. Lying becomes a job. And again... Here on the lockout, we don't like to work for nobody. So stop lying, Papi. You need more people, you heard? <laughs> you already know it's on the lockout. I love you guys, man. You heard? Always with a little humor. If there's anything you're going through in your life, man, just know it get better, get greater later. Hopefully the best thing that the almighty father, king of kings, made was one day after the next, man. To give you another opportunity to try again because he knows that you was going to do that. He knew that was going to happen. He knew in order for you to be better or greater... You was going to hit the few bumps in the road. You heard it? He, he knows you won't flow over the cuckoo's nest. He knows his kids best, right? So if you believe in a higher power, whatever your higher power is, right? That means you believe that we are brothers and sisters. If you believe in Allah, you believe that the next man is your brother and you believe that the next sister is your sister, right? Let's start treating each other as so then. On the lockout.